Okay, here's another one of those first. Before I show you what I'm fixing to do with this, I learned that if you take a fish after you wash them off, got them all filleted and all, you put them in a colander. Put that in your refrigerator for about five or six hours. Whenever you vacuum seal this, you're not going to have all those juices come out. So that means you don't have to partially freeze this whenever you're going to put them in that uh, food saver vacuum packer. Alright, here's what we're going to do today. This is some sheep head that we caught, and this is a southern sheep head. The northern sheep head, that'd be a gaspagoo. That's what we call them down here. You take any firm flesh, white meated fish that you would like to have a little bit different way, catfish included, and we're going to run it through this grinder. Now, what I got here is some bacon that was frozen. I ran it through the grinder already. So we're going to mix the fish and the bacon together, then we'll make some fish burgers out of that. Okay, you can see how that pork and bacon bits are all in that fish like that. You want to season it up however you want, but when you take this and you make a patty out of that, you'll be able to pan fry it or put it on your uh, smoke vault, and it's going to hold together. You don't need no egg, you don't need no bread, no crackers, no nothing. And you're just going to have the goodness of that bacon and your fish together and whatever seasonings that you want to put on it. So we'll show you what it looks like after it's cooked a little bit later. Here's the fish burgers on the old smoke vault. I flipped them. It's just like flipping a regular hamburger. Holding together really fine.